So here's another theorem involving the centroid. It states the following. I'm going to draw my triangle. I'm going to constrain it by length. And I'm going to create the centroid. Well, one, I've previously been doing the centroid by intersecting two medians, but we, we proved earlier on that the um, centroid is two thirds of the way down the median. So we can just create it that way using the, um, the, this constraint, which is the proportional distance along the line. So if we put that as two thirds, um, that will give us a centroid. Now, for this theorem, I'm going to create a line FG and it's going to pass through the centroid. And what this theorem says is that the product of AF times GC plus the product of AG times FB is equal to the product of AF times AG. Now we haven't specified where F and G are. Um, I, can, I can do that using the same proportional distance constraint um, and just use the parameter T. So this is proportion T along that line and we can observe what T does as we pull it up towards here. It goes to zero, it goes to one actually. If I bring it down here, it's going to zero. And here, it's about half. Okay, so now we want um, to compute the distance of AF times the distance of GC plus um, the distance of FB times the distance of AG. And we start expressed in terms of B, C, and T. And so let's just add, let's just ask for the other distance. Um, this is AF times the distance AG. And we see um, those are not the same. Well, they don't look exactly the same. We've got one minus t squared there, and we've got minus one plus t squared. So t minus one squared. Of course, those are in fact the same. Um, so that has um, proved our theorem. And we could, of course, have um, had uh, GX web uh, done the subtraction by putting uh, distance AF uh, by putting just a negative um, uh, there. 